Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be something I haven't done for like two years. Last time I did a QA, and a it was really honestly just like random questions and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't useful and it was garbage and I don't like it. And a lot has changed since two years, obviously. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Um, and I... The questions were on my phone, so I've written them down on a piece of paper, and I think, because my braids are getting extremely messy, I think while I tell you guys, you know, well, why look at the questions and answer them more, like, I am going to take my braids out. So, with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So, the first question is, since I've talked a lot about how my freshman year was overall really, really crazy, and a lot has happened... But I never told really the full story. Um, pretty much what really happened. So, I don't know if you've seen this video or not. But I have a video on my channel from, I don't know, maybe about a couple months ago. And I kind of explained my freshman year then. But since then, a little bit has changed. I mean, obviously the school year is over. I was supposed to do summer school, but I'm giving myself a break. And I honestly, um, sorry, my niece was waving at me. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm giving myself a break because this school year is definitely, it was one of the worst. No, it was the worst, honestly. And I am so glad that the school year is over and I'm going into hopefully my sophomore year. More than likely my sophomore year, I will just have to make up a few credits which shouldn't be that much of a big deal because I definitely am not going to sit in summer school, okay? Like, I did that last year. Last year was summer school. It really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Like, it was fun, not gonna lie. It was fun, but also draining at the same time. Like, some days, I just wanted to stay home. And I can't remember if it was every day or, like, certain days of the week, but I think it might have been every day. But, yeah, it was pretty fun. So, the next question is, how has my mental health been since the school year ended? And, honestly, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of been the same. Like, I haven't really changed. I mean, I'm making a bit of progress, but at the same time, I've lost quite a bit. Like, I've been, I've been really struggling lately, but I've been trying to get out as much content as possible still. Like, the content slowed down for a little while now, and now it's picking back up. Because, okay, last year, I hardly posted last year. And when I did post, I said I was going to post this, I was going to post that, this was going to happen, that was going to happen. And it never did. And I know for a fact I have mentioned last year in some of my videos, I had a surprise video for you guys. Um, That's going to be filmed soon. I'm not going to say when exactly because I cannot and I will not attempt to make any progresses progresses promises okay because my life is very hectic right now and my mental health um it's going downhill a little bit i'm not even gonna like lie to you guys i'm not in that great of a state and my room is currently extremely messy so i mean that kind of reflects like where i am right now and it's just it's not a place of happiness i mean yeah i'm happy see the thing that keeps me happy the most is my relationship. Like, I feel like I'm actually loved and, like, I can actually open up about things. And ever since I was taken out of school back in November, um, my mom, you know, she's understood me a lot more. And I feel like she listens to me now most of the time. So, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like, so I have this one therapist who comes to my house every week. And then I have this one therapist where I go in office, and I feel like that really, like, the in-office one kind of just, I don't know, I feel like it's not working. So I'm going to see what I, what can be done about that. But other than that, yeah, on to the next question. So the next question is, what is my favorite thing that happened this year? I don't know. Personally, this year has been really tough. I mean, I've dealt with cops. I've dealt with investigators. I've dealt with a lot of fun situations that I really was hoping would not carry over into 2022 because New Year, 
new start, and I just wanted to start over and everything, right? Um, about friends, I'll talk more about that later, but my favorite thing that happened this year is by far getting the, I don't know, just getting the privilege to watch my boyfriend graduate middle school. Um, it may not seem like much to you guys, but it is a lot for me because I know he's worked his ass off. I know, you know, school is extremely stressful for everyone, and I'm just genuinely really proud of him because, like, yeah, like, period. And my best friend did, too, but they called her name because I went to the graduation. And not gonna lie, I was crying, okay? But, um, they called my best friend's name. She didn't even show up. Um, and by the way, I'm talking about F. Um, if you guys don't know who F is, yeah. Um, I talked about her in a story time recently. But I definitely feel like... I mean, okay, she had babysitting. She's a babysitter. So, I mean, it's understandable as to why she didn't show up because she was making money. Honestly, I'm just so happy for both of them because, like, period. Like, new start. Like, they're going into high school. We're about to be in the same school. It's going to be super fun. I just hope I have lunch with them. Like, I really hope I have lunch with them. Because if I don't have lunch with them, then that's going to be really, really depressing, actually. But at the same time, my lunchtime, especially this past year when I went back to school, I dedicated more so to, like, um, writing my book, which I will talk more about in this video. But yeah, back on the topic of my YouTube channel, um, one of the questions is, what made you start posting more consistently on your channel this year? Pretty much, I don't know, my life is pretty crazy, and... Last year, I was in a really dark place. I had a lot of fun things going on, so I didn't have much time to myself because I was spending time with people who, turns out, was not some people I should have been hanging out. They only made my life a living hell. But with that being said, sorry about that, but my mom came into my room. So as I was saying, last year was just a really bad year i was just hanging out with the people i shouldn't that were only making my life worse and i definitely you know what i'm such a people pleaser like i will literally break my back for people that i know wouldn't do the same for me just to make them happy just to see them happy and i am not that much of a people pleaser anymore because this whole friend situation um made me realize you know what no, I don't, I don't gotta take disrespect from people, especially for the ones I'm trying to, you know, do everything for. Um, you know, between making them happy, hanging out with them when their words, not mine, nobody else would hang out. Yeah, I should have not taken that disrespect, and there's so much more to the story. I might talk about it one day, I might not, really. Um, but if I do, it'll probably be a video that's, kid you not, literally five hours of me just, like, talking about the whole experience like it was terrible and yeah I mean I definitely did some things back um that weren't too severe but I mean at the same time I'm also not an angel and I do not want you guys to think that way as I've said in I think in a different video but with that being said yeah I mean it was just a really toxic environment and it took away my time and it took away my motivation to do anything and I just was in much more of a very very dark place so I did not want to film, I wanted to sleep, and I wanted to do things that I will not begin to mention to myself. So it was just not a fun thing, but now this year, shit's different. Um, the only person I really hang out with frequently is my boyfriend, and yeah. So I mean, this year is much different, I have more time to myself, I'm in a much better mental state than I was last year. I'm struggling, as I said, but not as bad as I was last year because at the end of last year, right before I got into my relationship, my life was a living hell. Like, I don't know. And then I felt like no one would understand me. I couldn't go to my mom because I felt like she'd kill me. Even though I know she wouldn't. She wouldn't lay a finger on me like that. Um, But yeah. So I honestly, like last year was just such a really depressing year and this year is crazy i mean i just had a missing sister anyways as i was saying i just had a missing sister we found her i'm not going to talk about that but um 
yeah, a lot has happened this year. A lot that I don't even think I've really told you guys. But, um, yeah, with that being said, I mean, there's that. It just, yeah, this year's a much better year. And I do want to post more on here because I love this channel with all my heart. But last year, I... I had a lot going on. I still have much more going on than you guys could imagine that I will probably ever tell you guys. But, yeah. And I know what you guys are thinking. Like, why don't you keep it real? I feel like I'm keeping it real enough by, like, showing you guys, like, I'm struggling. Um, but at the same time, I don't want my channel overly depressing. And there is a lot that I am not going to mention for <laughs> reasons. But, Yeah. So the next question is um, how I've mentioned about how I don't talk to my family and why that is. Um, family it goes way back until I was, I don't know, well, if my cousin's almost 10, I don't know, since I was about 5 or 6, um, the whole family thing goes back. And then my cousin was born, a lot happened. Um, I'm not really going to get into it. Um, one day, I know I will, because I do want to tell you guys the entire story, because some days I feel like I'm overreacting, some days about the whole situation, other days I completely see where I'm coming from, but everybody is like, oh, you need to start talking to them again. They've hurt me a lot, not, not physically, but like mentally, and I feel like my mom didn't really understand my hurt until I was taken out of school, and then she kind of realized, like, this is the damage that my family has done and I used to be such a sweet little girl and I feel like a lot of that is mostly gone now because of all of the hurt my family put me through and I personally believe well this year I've tried talking to them but I stopped because I started believing that you know what this is not good for me this is only gonna actually like I'm gonna bring back trauma to myself I'm just gonna make myself worse and I need to do what's best for me right now to get myself better I'm still in the process of recovering from everything so with that being said um yeah I mean I am not going to talk to them anytime soon only time I really talk to them is to say hi when we are at family events and even then family events okay it's weird like my aunt She's not allowed to be around me because I said so. And when I voice my concerns now, my mom absolutely 1000% listens to them because she knows what I will do. She knows how crazy I can be sometimes, okay? So with that being said, my mom really listens to me, which I'm super thankful for because she doesn't have to. Like, she could, just because she's my mother, I mean, she could honestly just turn a blind eye to me. Personally, I would never do that to my own kid. But, I mean, some parents do that, and it's so sad. Like, all my friends, like, they have issues with their parents, and it makes me see how grateful I am that my parents are nothing like theirs and that my parents will take the time to listen to me. Next question is a bit of a lighter question and more of, like, a get-to-know-me-more question. Okay, this whole Q&A is, like, more on the topic of, like, getting to know me because, I don't know, I feel like sometimes... I give off mixed signals, like, I'm, all oh, this person, I don't know, my personality is, like, alter or something, it's weird, but, um, the next question is, what is my favorite thing to play on piano, and honestly, I really don't know, I play a lot, um, I, well, I mean, I just performed not too long ago, but I'm going to be working on next year's 4th of July performance pieces already, but, um, so that I'm ready, and I'm not rushing like I had to this year, but my absolute favorite thing to play, I don't even know what it would be. I feel like, I don't know, I really love playing Lithium by Evanescence and My Immortal by Evanescence. Um, my Last Breath by Evanescence, literally everything almost by Evanescence, is a really fun one. Um, it's a tie between My Immortal and All That I'm Living For, also by Evanescence. But I also really like playing my song that I've written. I've written a song on piano and if you guys would like to hear it just let me know because I think I would literally sit down and record it for you guys because it is it's pretty fun it's very fun to play actually I just I don't know 
some days, some, some days, some days I just kind of, yeah, I don't know, I have mixed, mixed feelings about things I do, like me just playing in general. Next question has more to do with beauty and the thing you hate most about makeup. Okay, my eyebrows. How I do them. Nah, just kidding. Um, the thing I hate most about makeup, well, it's hard to pick. So, thing, one of the things I hate the most about makeup is the fact that, you know, everybody, especially a lot of my generation, turns to it more as, oh, I'm ugly, this is my escape from being so ugly, I will make myself look better. And that is definitely not the case, because makeup doesn't let you show off your natural beauty. Like, everyone... Okay, everyone's pretty in their own way. Like, everyone is beautiful in their own way. Like, just because you don't look like, you know, just because so you don't look like Madison Beer, or like your favorite, like, singer, or like your favorite actress or something, doesn't mean you are ugly. Because you are not ugly. There's no such thing as ugly. That's just how society categorizes things. Okay? But, um... Other than that, the thing I hate most about makeup... Okay, real quick, though, beauty standards piss me off. Like, oh, you're too heavy. Oh, you're too skinny. So? And you're too judgmental. But anyway, um, but the other thing I hate about, like, the makeup industry is how a lot of products are tested on animals. Animals are not the ones wearing makeup. Second of all, it's extremely harmful to them, and makeup is toxic. And I don't see why. Like, who got the idea to test makeup? A product for human beings to apply to their face to make them feel more beautiful and, you know, enhance their physical features. Why would that be tested on animals? It, it don't add up. Like, 2 plus 2 is supposed to equal 4. 2 plus 2 is not supposed to equal 9. If that makes sense. So, yeah. Next question? Okay, next question is definitely needed. What are some assumptions about you that aren't true? There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, I'm going to start off with kind of a funny one because I we all still joke about this. My boyfriend and I still joke about this. My parents and I still joke about this. Even my favorite therapist jokes about this with us when she comes to visit. So, okay. So, there was a rumor going around by this girl who stop okay who treated me like shit because i didn't like her back um sorry if i swear a lot i'm just this okay this still kind of gets to me okay don't get to me but like it's it's funny by the same time it's like girl um but there's this girl in my neighborhood who as i said i rejected her she got mad um because you know yeah yeah and so she tried to make everything feel like it's my fault and everything which i know it isn't but Anyway, with that being said, so she started a rumor that I was pregnant, and I would take a picture of the pregnancy test result right here. Um, but yeah, that assumption's definitely not true to this day, because period, if I was pregnant, I would literally probably be kicked out, because my sister got pregnant at 15, and we didn't know until she was in labor at 6 o'clock in the morning. With life, my niece. But okay, just because my sister made a mistake by being unprotected doesn't mean my niece is a mistake. I love my nieces with all my heart, all three of them. They're literally so adorable, and they bring me so much joy, and they're so cute. Um, but yeah, definitely. Um, you know, another thing that people say is I'm a bitch, and a lot of people say that, especially more so my neighborhood because they treat me like shit and they get mad when I fight back but at the same time I think my fighting back phase is over because I'm fighting for what like this ain't worth my energy this is not worth my time so I'm done fighting back period but another assumption about me is I stop talking to my family because, yeah, for no reason. Like, I just pretty much manipulated everyone thinking that my family are terrible people. My family aren't terrible people. They just made terrible choices and have a terrible thought process. 
I do too. I do too. Most of the time, I do too. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm no angel when it comes to that. But, um, yeah, they've done a lot of shit. They've said a lot. I've done a lot. Okay? I'm no angel, as I said. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean... Next question that I'm pretty sure has already been addressed in this video, but in case you couldn't tell, the question is single. No, I'm not single. Um, I haven't been single since October. See, I was in a really abusive relationship before that, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm still dealing with cops and everything to this day, so, yeah. But, um, but my relationship, um, started in October, and it's been going really well. Um, I don't talk about it too much because I don't, I'm not about to put, like, everything about my relationship on a social media. That's more of a private thing. But, yeah, I am in a relationship. I'm happily in a relationship. And, yeah. If I had to go back and change one big thing from the past, but only from the past two years, what would it be is the next question. And, personally, for me, I think it would definitely be, I would look back and I would reconsider last summer and I would reconsider my friends they do this to me they did that to me they did this they did that they did this and I did nothing I did nothing in response but take it and I my thing is I wouldn't have fought back I just would have cut them off I would have cut them off and I would have done it in a way that you know wasn't rude but kind of was rude to but let them know like you did this I don't take that. I do not tolerate that. I would have done that sooner in a more appropriate way than I did. Um, a lot happened the day the friend group split apart. I'm glad the friend group split apart because it seemed like, I don't know, like it was just a very toxic thing. And I refer to the friend group as like a group of people. I'm not going to go say their names for privacy reasons. Um, but I've done like a story time or two on them. Yeah, I have. But the only good person in that friend group who I still talk to this day and who I'm this close with and who I am glad I met, very glad I met, is my boyfriend. So the next question I've talked about in a video or two, but if you guys do not know or did not pick up on it, I'm writing a book. Um, at first, I was writing a book about some experiences that happened to me, but it's turning into more of a very scary, like terrifying, more dramatic storyline um because you know i couldn't tell the full story and all that like exactly how it went out um but i am writing a different book because that book i felt like it didn't i got tired of it i felt like this isn't what i want to do i want to write books i want to be an author but at the same time this book i'm not gonna let them past situations define who i am so, I think it's time to let go of that, forget the book, and I just, okay, I lost my motivation to write the book, I just didn't want to write something about that anymore. Also, sorry, I'm, like, moving around, I have to move around, I have ADHD, I'm so sorry. But with that being said, um, yeah, I know, the book I'm writing now, okay, it's very, very relatable, it's about this girl, she's 14 at the time the book begins, and she has some really bad, she's in an extremely abusive relationship, she has abusing issues, not like, not like, stuff you shouldn't be doing that's harmful for your body type issues, um, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't want to say the word because I know it's a trigger for a lot of people, but, um, yeah, and then she is in this neighborhood friend group and she meets this guy who she really likes doesn't know likes her back at the time kind of a spoiler alert kind of not because i don't know um and then a lot of happens the friend group breaks apart and eventually they get together the friend group goes crazy over it there's rumors but despite all that the relationship only gets stronger and it doesn't break and yeah i mean it goes on from there but i don't know when i'm gonna be release releasing it but i've been working on it for a while now and i am glad to say that it is I mean, if you guys want me to, like, talk more about this book or, like, give more updates on it, let me know because I will be more than glad to fill you guys in a little bit more. Next question, um, is I've gotten this so much and I've had therapists tell me, I've had all my therapists tell me I need to do otherwise, except for one, who really understands where I'm coming from. But, um, so, 
the next question is if I'm looking for friendships. And the answer to that is no. I am currently not looking for any friendships and I don't plan to. This year, for the end, at least. Maybe not next year either. My mindset is completely, like, it switches often. But um, I'm not looking for any friendships. Um, because with everything that happened with my friends, I'm scared to have friends again. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm terrified to have friends again. Because every friend I've had, and I mean literally every friend I've had, has kind of, I don't know, like, it just wasn't a good experience. Um, okay, except for one, but that's changed in a good way. But with that being said, um, I'm not looking for any friends. I'm scared to have friends. I think the best thing to do anyways right now is to focus on getting myself better. Next question is about this channel, and it is, what is the real reason you do YouTube? The real reason I do YouTube is because I'm only going to be young once. We're only young once. We only live once. My life is pretty eventful, and I want to document things that happen in my life pretty much like I want to like I do this I got this done I accomplished this this happened today this is how my day went today oh I did this this is my routine for today a lot changes a lot changes in a lot could change in even a second like something life changing could happen any second and you just wouldn't know it until it happens um but yeah I just wanted to document my experience and then I decided to make all my videos public and I started off as kind of a crappy YouTuber, not going to lie. Still a little bit am, but I'm putting more effort into my videos. I'm editing more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to actually put more effort into my videos. And I actually want to continue this channel. This channel, I don't know what the rest of 2022 has for me. Or it's maybe 2023 yet. But with that being said, um, yeah, I mean, I know for a fact I do want to continue growing this channel. Um, and I'm thankful for every single one of you that is subscribed, likes likes my videos, comments, or just even just watches my channel. Just even watches any of my videos in general, even if it's only a couple seconds. I am genuinely grateful for all of you because all of you matter, and I hope all of you are doing good. Next question kind of is kind of a weird question, but it's, what is the biggest piece of advice you would give to your younger self? Don't take no shit. There is going to be people that will use you in every type of way. There is going to be friends who aren't really your friends that you need to get rid of. And you need to pay more attention to and keep your keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer, okay? Um, yeah, there's going to be family problems. There's going to be times you don't want to be here, but there's people who want to be here, well, who want you here. So you have to be there for them and... It may be stressful sometimes, but you have this opportunity of living. You have the opportunity of waking up every day. Next question. Keep in mind, I'm only 15, so if I say yes to this question, I'm not talking about right now or especially for another three years, but do you, do I want any kids in the future? And I'm half and half on this. Okay, so I want at least one or two kids, but at the same time, I'm more of a, like, I need a lot of time to myself, and I know with kids... You get no time to yourself. You are on your feet 24-7. Especially with younger children. Okay? Um, I've, gr I've lived with a teen mom. I've seen how it is. I've never been in that shoe. Been in her shoes. But my sister works her ass off. My sister is a legend. Both my sisters are legends. They've both come so far. And I'm super proud of them. They've done a lot. They've done a lot. Um, I've only had one sister that was a teen mom. The other had my niece, Ava, when she was 20. Um, and then just had her baby on Valentine's Day, Violet. And she is, she is literally adorable. So the next question is, what do I want to do for a future job? So school is really stressing me out right now. So chances are I'm more than likely not going to go to college. But that doesn't mean I don't want to work because I do want to work. I actually really want to work right now. I forgot to get my working paper signed. So it's kind of a hold off. But I wanted to get a job this summer. Like, I really wanted to get a job this summer. So, but, um, future job. If I can't make it to high school, I'll drop out. But I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to get my, I'm going to work towards my GED. Which I know is going to be 
long process in the making. And when I'm 18, uh, me and the EMTs that took me by ambulance to the hospital, um, we were kind of talking about this, um, is I want to be, I want to take a communication class and be a operator for 911. So the next question is, am I religious? I'm not religious, but I do pray and I do believe in God. The next question is kind of like the complete opposite of the question I just answered, but am I a virgin? <laughs> the next question is two goals that I have in mind, and one goal is learning to drive because I I want to drive. Like, I want to get my driver's license, I want to get my permit, and I want to get a car. And yeah, um, the next goal is honestly making it through the summer and yeah so the next two questions kind of go hand in hand and these are the final questions because i just want didn't want this video to be super long but the first is favorite show and i would have to say my favorite show by far by a very long run is euphoria and i know it's pretty cliche but i can really relate to a lot of the characters and their experiences and it's something fun to watch it's depressing yes and I can relate to that aspect in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, Euphoria, definitely, definitely Euphoria. I just, I feel emotion when I actually watch Euphoria. It's not like I'm sitting at the TV and I'm just watching something, episode, 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 but I don't feel too much emotion. No, like, I feel, I can sense what the characters are feeling and it makes me feel emotion. And I think that's what I really like about it because, like, for Rue, like, when she relapses or, like, something happens to her, like, Jules betraying her, um, which I'm not going to get too much into in case you haven't seen all that. Um, I don't want to spoil too much for anyone. But, um, yeah, I definitely felt a sense of, like, heartbreak and, like, betrayal for her because she's been through enough already and for them to put her through that and for just, yeah, it, I mean, she's made kind of no progress but kind of progress at the same time. Um, which is something I can relate to. Um, she feels lost in the world. And I do too. I do too. But my favorite movie, which is the final question, is definitely... I would... I used to be, back when it came out on January 14th of this year. Okay, I was a tie between Scream 5 and the original Scream, but... So I don't know why my camera stopped recording, but definitely um, my favorite movie, as I said, um, it first was a tie between Scream 5 and the original Scream, but by now it is definitely the original Scream. Um, see, the five movies for me right now would be, the first would be definitely the original Scream, because it's fire. Um, the second will be the 2022 one. Third would be Scream 4. It's so underrated. Like, Scream 4 is just so underrated. Like, there was so many good kills. Ghostface was really gory and everything. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to say too much, but Olivia's death. That whole entire scene had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. Every time I watch it. Um, the next one would be Scream because Scream 2 is fire and the final one would be Scream 3 yeah Scream 3 a lot of people don't like but like for me like I don't know like it's just it's fun to watch and to me it's not that bad but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my Q&A I have not done one in a while and I probably won't do one until somewhere this upcoming school year um but yeah because But yeah, anyways, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I probably won't do one of these for like another year maybe. But I do want, I do have like kind of like another Q&A video coming up. But it's not going to be about me. It's going to be about, okay, I'm not even going to spoil it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, comment a blue heart emoji since my LED lights are blue. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.